climbing up the walls like Spider-Man to cyborg insect surveillance drones. Here are 11 technologies inspired by animals. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number 11. Did you know that shark skin has scales that resemble tiny teeth and is made of a resilient material called dentin? Studies have shown that the scales reduce drag while the animals swim. Shark skin also prevents organisms like barnacles from attaching to them, an action which is known as biofouling. That's because the scales are in a state of constant flux, which reduces the surface area upon which the unwanted hitchhikers can attach themselves. A synthetic shark skin has been developed by researchers in Germany that is made up of elastic silicone. It's been shown to reduce biofouling by nearly 70% in trial runs. The US Navy is also developing similar technology that repels unwanted sea life. Velcro. In some ways, you have a dog to thank for this ubiquitous material. The origins of Velcro are traced to 1941, when a Swiss engineer named Georges de Mastral was taking his dog for a walk in the woods. He noticed how burrs acquired while walking through the woods clung to his dog's hair and to his trousers. Examining those burrs under a microscope, Mr. Mastral observed how they possessed hundreds of tiny hooks that could latch onto hair and clothing. From that, he developed a strip with similar hooks that could mate with another fabric strip with a similar feature. His invention was patented in 1955 and named Velcro, which essentially translates to velvet hook. It was derived from the French words for velvet, velour, and crochet, or hook. Researchers at MIT studied the Namib desert beetle, a cactus, and a pitcher plant, and developed a material that can collect water droplets from the atmosphere. Each organism has unique methods of collecting water. The beetle has bumps on its shell that collects droplets of the liquid, cactus spines have a V-shape which transport water to the plant's body, and along with the slippery, friction-free coatings of pitcher plants, scientists created a material that can collect and direct the flow of water droplets. The Bio-inspired material is unique in that it takes inspiration from three sources in nature instead of only one. Potential applications for its use include building cooling devices or cleaning up toxic spills. A study has shown that a parasitic worm might hold the key to attaching skin grafts. Researchers in Boston were inspired by how the worm can attach itself to the intestinal walls of its host by piercing it and then expanding its cactus-like head into the host's tissues. Scientists created a sticky patch with micro-needle tips that can expand, not unlike the worm's head, which allow it to interlock with tissue. Among other applications, the patch is expected to be used for skin graft fixation, closing wounds, and to deliver active substances like antibiotics into the surface of a wound. Experts say the micro needles provide an adhesive strength that's more than three times stronger than anything currently available for clinical use and are less likely to cause infection. The wings of a hummingbird have inspired a technology involving wind turbines. The turbine actually has two five-foot carbon fiber wings that move in a figure eight motion, which mimics the motion of hummingbirds. Developers at Tyre Wing, the manufacturer based in Tunisia, say the motion enables the turbine to generate power both on the upstroke and the downstroke. Energy that the wings capture from the wind is sent to a spinning axle inside the housing, and it serves as the moving agent in the turbine. Researchers say the design captures more air than conventional wind turbines that use rotors and produces less noise pollution. The research team spent time studying hummingbirds to better replicate the way they fly. Did you know hummingbirds can typically beat the wings up to 80 times per second while in flight? They're the only known group of birds that can hover and fly backwards. Did you know that a revolution in mobile phone technology is coming? Thanks to moths, the insects have been identified as having some of the sharpest hearing found in the animal kingdom. The greater wax moth is able to detect frequencies up to 300 kilohertz. Humans hear up to around 20 kilohertz. Experts say the insects 
ultra-sensitive hearing evolved in response to the abilities of bats, which are their natural predators. The flying mammals use echolocation to navigate the way in the dark. Greater wax moths have been observed using their hearing to detect bats, and males can transmit ultrasonic pulses for purposes of courtship. Experts think the moth's extraordinary hearing could be applied to making microphones smaller, which could greatly impact technologies like hearing aids and mobile phones. Spider silk is known to have a number of applications. While lightweight, it's said to be stronger than steel, and it's been used for sutures and even for violin strings. But it's difficult to mass produce the material. Spiders are difficult to keep in captivity, and they also produce small amounts of silk. But now, a team of Swedish researchers has found a way to produce artificial silk. The method allows for the production of threads of the material that are about a kilometer long. The solution was in finding a way to mimic the protein spiders use to create the silk. It's stored in the glands as a water-soluble solution prior to being spun into a fiber. But researchers found a way to develop artificial proteins that can be produced in large quantities by using bacteria. A spinning device that mimics a spider's process is used to spin the artificial fibers. The artificial silk can now be produced on a larger scale in an industrial environment. Among other uses, experts say the new silk can be used to create advanced textiles, artificial artificial tendons or ligaments, and even bulletproof clothing. The Pacific hagfish is also identified as the slime eel. The name is a reference to the creature's unique defense mechanism. They can secrete a thick slime that clogs the gills of predators, suffocating those which come into contact with it. The slime has been called one of the most unique biomaterials known, and now U.S. Navy researchers have created a synthetic component of that material, and they say applications for its use might be endless. Experts say the hagfish slime is composed of a thread and a when they interact with seawater, the secretion can expand to around 10,000 times its original volume. Researchers say the slime thread is comparable to Kevlar, the synthetic fiber used for protective gear. Some of the uses foreseen for this new material include being used for shark repellent or to create ultra-tough wetsuits for divers. Batplane. Well, it's not Batman's aircraft, but the flying mammals were indeed the inspiration for this micro-air vehicle, or MAV. Engineers at the University of Southampton designed the unmanned craft according to the way bats fly, by altering the shape of the wings. The wings function similar to artificial muscles, changing the shape in response to changing physical forces they encounter. Researchers say the wing membranes change shape when electrical currents pass through the polymers, making making the polymers relax or stiffen. It's not unlike Batman's memory cloth cape seen in the movies. Computer models were used to better replicate the biological function of bats' wings. Prototype drone measures just under 20 inches long and is powered by two rotor engines, but is said to have no mechanical parts. Having successfully completed wind tunnel testing and test flights, the next step is to deploy the MAV in the real world. It's expected to be used for military and surveillance operations, among other applications applications. Have you ever wanted to climb up the side of a building like Spider-Man? Well, that arachnid-like ability has been made possible to those of us not bitten by radioactive spiders, and it's all thanks to a lizard. A climbing system that allows a human being to ascend vertical surfaces was inspired by geckos. The creatures can cling to a wide variety of smooth surfaces due to adhesive pressures up to 30 pounds per square inch in each of the limbs, meaning they can hang their entire body off of one toe. Stalk-like seti, or hair-like structures, are found on the toes, creating an electrical force. That enables them to adhere to slick surfaces. From that, scientists created micro-wedges that generate electrical forces, producing a dry adhesive that's actually more powerful than that of a gecko. Successful tests performed at Stanford University involved a 150-pound male volunteer climbing up a 12-foot glass pane with adhesives no larger than a human hand. Potential applications for the material include being used in medical devices and in advanced climbing gear. It's half insect, half machine, and 
all spy. Researchers at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute in the U.S. have outfitted a dragonfly with a solar-powered backpack the size of a fingernail, which can be remotely controlled by an operator. But how did researchers get the dragonfly to cooperate? Well, the insect's nervous system was genetically modified so it could respond to pulses of light. Scientists gave the creature a gene that would enable it to respond to that stimulus. When light-sensitive proteins were added to its neurons, scientists were able to activate those neurons by light, which was delivered by an interface in the critter's backpack called an optrode. Neurons would then send signals to the wings, encouraging it to fly. The new miniaturized technology means that a wide range of insects could be equipped with environmental sensors to guide critical behavior like pollination, and could even be used to conduct surveillance missions and deliver payloads.